Welcome to eHiddenBrain.com. Today we will see a question. Rather, I will see two questions in this topic. So, uh, question is: Construct DFA. Construct DFA, or rather DFAs that accepts all strings of all strings of A's and B's. where each string where each string now there are two questions the first question is starts with ab and so the first question is starts with ab and second question ends with ab and so so these are the two questions we will be tackling in this session Now let's try to find the answer, and let's try to find the answer for the first question, right? So question one answer is let's try to draw a language here. If they say construct a DFA, understand it is always a minimal DFA, right? When they say construct DFA, you should always try to find a DFA with less number of states, right? And the correct DFA rather. And input alphabets are again A's and B's means the summation. is a b now the next thing is the language i really want so language for the first is let's say starts with a b string so what is what will be the minimal language or what will be the minimal string possible epsilon is not possible because it never starts with a b a is also not possible because it only starts with a and there is no b here it b will not be again a valid string b a is also not a valid string so that way you should be able to have only ab as a minimum valid string here because it starts with ab next ab a yes it is again a valid string because ab is a start and it ends on a it doesn't matter again ab b something like that i can really able to do right next ab 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 B B like this, you can have a multiple strings here. I can take at least five to six strings, right? That's per our hint. Now these are not valid string. Now let's try to draw a DFA for the minimum length string, right? As per our uh, hint, so let's let's try to draw it. What I will do is I will have S one as a state here, where I will have a transition of A here. Then it goes to S two. It means and then finally i get a valid input i can say and that reaches to s3 okay so you can see this on s1 if i get a i goes to s2 and on s2 if i get b so i get ab as a first string and this is what i really accepted i can say yes this is accepted next now i really want to accept aba understood so what about aba if i get ab and then i get a yes i should be able to accept or rather i get b also i should be able to accept so these two strings are accepted you can see this a b a is accepted and a b b is accepted because of this loop you can see this s3 is in dfa actually this is a correct state because it has two transition but s1 and s2 are not in dfa is right now let's try to understand what happens if b comes at the start so you can see this if at the start b comes it should be rejected it should be rejected right so when rejection is there we show it using a dead state in dfa right so when b comes i reject it saying i am going to the dead state and to make this now s1 is in dfa you can see this why s1 is dfa because it has a as well as b now and both are exactly ones and then to make this dead also dfa i will put a loop of ab here means any string which is starting with b and ends with anything will give you a invalid input rather it is a dead input you can say right and now the next thing is yes only s2 is left over now what about if i get a something like a a b is it a valid string so now let's try to see whether a a b is a valid string or not so you can see this a b is also not a valid string because it starts with a and not a b and that's why if i get a second a if i get second a it is again a dead condition so 
for if I get a second A, I will lead to the dead state. Understood? It's that easy. Okay, so this is what a question one answer is. You can see that all the strings, remaining strings are accepted or not. You can see this. Is A, B, B is accepted? A, B, A, B. Yes, it is accepted. Is A, B, B, B is accepted? A, B, B, B is accepted. You can see this. Yes, so this is a valid uh, DFA, I can say. And I can call this as a machine or rather DFA. M1 you can say okay so this is what a valid DFA now let's move on for the next part and the next part is right next part is to second question second question says ends with AB so again let's try to have a valid language now what is the valid language here so again a minimum length string is AB because it ends with AB then I will have AAB you can see this it ends with AB see B A B is also valid string so let's have that here B A B is also valid but if I say A B A then it is not a valid string why because it ends with B A and not A B if I say B B A again that's not a valid right so only valid string should be there in this language L next next language can be a A A B yes this is a four length string which ends with A B then I can have A B A B yes again this is a valid so that way you can have an infinite language I will take around four to five or at least five to six uh, strings in here right so let's try to draw a DFA here now again same thing we have to do we will be drawing a DFA where I will be trying to accept A B only right so let's try to accept A B So A and B is accepted. So this is accepted. You can see this A B is accepted. Next, I want A A B or rather you can think of this. Is this is a valid? Yes, this is valid. Number of A's which comes before A B doesn't matter. So it is actually really we required a loop here, right? And somewhere we required loop. Where I should have a loop? Shall I have an S1? If I have a loop on S1, there will be a problem. You can see this. If I put a loop on S1 of A then this will not be DFA because on S1 you will be having a two transitions of A it one leads to S2 and one leads to S1 so this is not correct so you should definitely don't have loop here and where this loop will be definitely this will be on S2 so yes now you can see this S2 is in DFA because there is a transition of B as well as A on S2 exactly once Okay, now what about if I get all the strings of such a chord like B, 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 B and then A, B. Yes, number of B's and then followed by A, B is a valid string. So I should have a loop of B somewhere. Where I should have a loop of B? Simply I can put a loop here because that will again make me a machine, give me a machine which is DF. You can see this. This is a loop of B and this is where A goes. So S1 is also in DFA now. You can see this. On S1 you have a transition of A. On S1 you have a transition of B. And on S2 you have a transition of B. And on S2 you have a transition of A. Means these two states are in DFA. Now what about S3? Will S3 be in DFA? S3 is in not DFA. Right? Now see there might be one case. How to understand how to draw the transition on S3. See, if I get AB, AB is a valid input first of all, right? But after I get a AB, let's say I got a AB and then I got A, let's say. I got AB, right? And then I get A here, right? Then if you really want to accept the string further, you should really require B, understood? So if I get A here, I should end with B. It means if I get A, I will be going back to S1, sorry S2 to take B with me. Understand? On S2, sorry, see here, if I get AB as a valid string and then I got A, right? Yes, that is quite valid, but it, if you really want a valid string, it should always end with B and that's why this A takes you back to S2 and then from S2, you goes to S3 taking B as the final input alphabet right and then this will be valid understood similarly similarly if I have a B and then I get B right so I got a B and then I got B so you can see this this is not a valid string if you really want a valid string 
you required something like this. You required again a A, B, right? So for if I get a B here, right? On A, B, if I get again a B where I should lead, I should lead back to S1. You can see this here. Why I lead back to S1? You can see this. If I get A, B and then I get B, yes, it's, it's quite okay. But to make a valid string, what I will do is I require again a b to ends with and that's why I went to s1 and from s1 I will take a and b yes and this is quite valid you can see this and you can test all the strings which are required and which are which are there in language you can see this is a b is accepted a a b is accepted is b a b is accepted b a b yes it is accepted is a b is accepted a a a b is accepted is a b a b is accepted a b a B yes that is also accepted so that way all the strings which are valid are accepted by this language and which are not uh, valid are rejected like you can see that A B A is A B is accepted should not be accepted you can see this A B A yes it reaches to non-final state and that's why this is rejected is A B B is accepted you can see this A B B yes it reaches to non final state and that's why this is also rejected is A B B A is accepted you can see this A B B A it is also not accepted because it reaches to S2 and not S3 if you really want a valid string they should be reached to S3 once they completed reading it thank you very much I hope you understood the difference between starts with AB and ends with AB. So this is starts with AB and this is a machine I can call this is a machine or a DFA M2 right which which is for ends with AB. Thank you very much.